how I make sense of it. But yeah, so I'm playing a character, um, Hughes, which, um, I don't know, I'm not trying to give too much weight <laughs> of what the film is about, but um, yeah, it's just that type of movie to where these people believe this way of life, that mode of thinking is accurate and the right way, but then you have this group over here that they think that's the right way, the way things should be. So, um, yeah. yeah <laughs> Next question. I'm not trying to give any spoilers. That's all right. Um, so with this film you're doing a horror and Three Hudges is obviously an action film. Um, are these the type of films that you want to be starring in the future or is there another type of film that you want to, you would want to try? Yeah, um, well, virtually all of them. <laughs> it's just, which sounds quite generic, but to me it's the truth. Going back to the psychology of it and why I'm interested in acting is because looking at myself um, and really making sense of stuff. But um, yeah, so if you put me into a comedy, which I deem to be the hardest to do because you can take a really outrageous situation that's hilarious, but to the character, that's reality. There's nothing funny about it. Yeah. So, but yeah, I, um, you know, it'd be fun to do comedy, but to me, I love wearing, like, suits, suspenders, fedoras, so doing, like, a good gangster movie, something yeah. like that oh, would be a lot of fun. My, my history is a cage fighter in law enforcement, you know, and I've already proven that I know how to do a good fight scene if I need to, so doing action would be fun to sprint away and have stuff blowing up around me, you know, <laughs> whoever needs saving on that particular day. <laughs> You know, it's a yeah. world. But, um, but yeah, um, I think once I would accomplish that stuff, something I think I really have a lot of fun with is being a um, a really dark, menacing bad guy. Yeah. And, you know, it's just, uh, I feel like so many people want to be the hero, mm -hmm. but if you can really just let loose and play and be the villain and not like the good one like the really creepy ones like Silence of the Lambs, yeah. you know, like a real guy that just looking at him, he, he freaks you out. You know, that'd be something I'd really like to, you know, try out sometime. Yeah. Well, they're the more interesting characters. And with your background in psychology, that will probably be something really interesting to do your, um, do your character research and development with. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah and um, who are some directors and actors who you admire and would like to work with in the future? Um, excuse me. Um, one, one guy that's really stuck out to me, and I, I didn't even realize that he's done all of these movies, but David Ayer, Ayer uh, A-Y-E-R is his last name, but yeah, he's done Harsh Times, End of Watch, and um, just mo movies that, um, I think Training Day, he yeah, also yeah. done that, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, movies that are all revolved around, like, these very realistic, hardcore, gritty situations that it, it shows, like, a very harsh life, you know, but that, and also the people that he cast in the movie, like, end up watch the Mexican gang people, I legitimately did not like them, <laughs> and knowing that they're actors and trying to appreciate them being the bad guy, I didn't care, I did not like them, which to me is brilliant, because the way that I view the characters he cast are, they don't have to try too hard to, to fit into that category. You know, they're not taking months to build that character. It's just, they're just hardcore people that you put a script in front of and that's them on screen. Yeah. They're not really trying. But yeah, so him and then one guy I can really appreciate is uh, Ben Stiller mm -hmm. to where he's acting um, and doing that business. But then he also has, his own idea so he's taking money from acting or wherever it's come from and went into being a director of movies like Zoolander and um, Tropic Thunder um, which is just hilarious because when you watch those movies there are so many things that happen to where you have the lead character yeah he's gonna be funny and do this stuff like that left and right that if you're not paying attention you miss the joke but it's really very interesting how it's all put together yeah and uh, yeah and then also uh, I mentioned him earlier 